Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej and creator of our Africa TV show. All Africa will be part of our show. The CEO of Mac Foundation. We want to support girls' education. No to infertility stigma, yes to girls' education. We want to stop gender-based violence for a stop. Number of child marriage will double by 2050. Hello Africa, hello the world. Welcome once again to the most amazing show in the land, our Africa TV show. And we are saying that this show is about fashion with a purpose. Fashion, fashion and, and art. art with a purpose. Joining me as usual, the elegant Russia College, Senator, Doctor, CEO, Mark Foundation, and most influential woman in 2019, 2020, and recently 2021, yep. alongside my vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. True, true, true. Congratulations. I'm the president of Tanzania and uh -huh. the um, prime minister of Togo. Of Togo. Which are all wonderful ladies. Yes. And uh, of course, representing the political uh, category. Yeah. So, Welcome. Thank you. Uh, dressed in uh, pearls. Uh, Do you know why? Uh -huh. Pearls. Uh -huh. Because pearls is a symbol of fragility and strength, inner strength and confidence. And mm -hmm. this is exactly the topic of our show today. Mm -hmm. We want to support girls' education. Mm -hmm. And girls, mm -hmm. wherever and whatever you face a challenge to complete your education, be like a pearl. Yeah. Just Pop, Queen, stand yeah, out. pops out and stand out and form your pearly layers that beautiful and strong and confident and continue your education, reach your potential yeah. and fulfill your dreams. Talk to me about you, your education to you as an individual, as Dr. Rasha. How, always, what did that do for your life? Of course, it changed, transformed my life because mm. without education, I will never be a pharmacist. Of course, also it's empowering in science, which mm. is, uh, of course, we are categorized as the culture and, uh, and life that, you know, you have certain categories that we can uh, study in. Mm. Of course, I became also the CEO of Merck Foundation and mm. I've become most influential and I have all this, you know, the skills of life yeah. and the talents. You know that mm -hmm. every year girls educated extra in primary school, their income increased by from 10 to 20 percent annual increase in their income wow. every for every, every year, year every year extra in their education yeah. therefore girls education consider the best investment in the global economy yeah yeah can you imagine absolutely. this absolutely yeah absolutely that's incredible but we have some really bad numbers dr rasha 130 million girls between the age of six to seven years Every year miss out on accessing school. They are denied opportunities for higher education. Um, what have you seen in the countries where Mac Foundation works? What are some of the there challenges? There is, of course, challenges like, for example, um, the uh, dangerous journey or, or ride to school. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the chores and the, the, the um, house chores or yeah. child marriage. Yeah. Uh, the cultural uh, and uh, the cultural habits that the girls has to marry and have kids and be mothers only and not having a, a, like a job yeah, literally or education. Born to be brides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And also the conflict and violence and sometimes civil wars also affect COVID-19 affects mm. recently, yeah. which is also a shame and it's yeah. a really sad. And of course, genital, uh, female genital mutation and menstruation and, yeah. and, and hygiene management. Yeah. Right. But you know that girls' education consider a vaccine for HIV and AIDS. Why? Because when they do studies, uh, showing that the girls who is educated have less substantial decrease in uh, the infectious rate. That's they interesting. They done study in Zambia about this, mm -hmm. and this, th therefore it's considered as a vaccine for HIV and AIDS. Yeah. So the best uh, investment in global economy and vaccine for HIV and AIDS. Wow. 
As very women, you, you and women. Yeah. I know Mark Foundation is very passionate about uh, girls' education. Talk to us about the Educating Linda campaign and how is that going uh, in the different countries where it is? Uh, it's really, um, I'm very proud of this uh, program. It's very important because I consider girls' education is um, uh, a protection from all the cultural issues that we are trying to advocate every day. Right. For example, for infertility. Mm -hmm. Because girls edu ed education, if there is a girls education, there, there is no child marriage, there is no uh, um, early pregnancies, unsafe delivery, and unsafe abortion that can cause infertility due to the infectious disease. Mm -hmm. Also, it can uh, uh, give the woman the right to have informed decisions. Yeah. So she can reject the GBV, the gender-based violence, yeah. domestic violence. It can increase her, to, uh, her ability to have stronger families, healthier family, and protect her children and offsprings from mm. genital mutation because she's now educated and informed. So, so all, all the things we are advocating against every day are either infertility, uh, against infectious disease like we mentioned, yeah. uh, gender-based violence and uh, child marriage, yeah. all can be achieved by girls' education. Therefore, we have in partnership with the First Ladies of Africa as usual, mm -hmm. Uh, 20 first ladies in Africa program that we are providing uh, scholarship for the most and high performed girls that mm. they are also underprivileged and they yeah. cannot afford their uh, school fees and the school items they need yeah. and we sponsor them, uh, them until they finish their education yeah and uh, every day every year every year every year until we have That's a very incredible. nice platform wow. yes of uh, educated girls but also we have uh, nice as we usual, we have storybooks. <laughs> yes, yes. I have very nice storybooks. I think I will invite the cartoonist who actually uh, wrote it up Did, for us. Yeah. Uh, it's Jacqueline Rescue and Right into the Future. Wow. And I will give, um, during the break, some hints about these two stories mm. so people can read it. And it's really amazing because it shows how by girls' education and supporting Jacqueline or give a bicycle to a girl to write to, to school, write to school yeah. can achieve her dreams of become a scientist, engineer, a doctor, yeah. and everything she can, uh, she can yeah. be. So this is really, really important right. for us. About educating Linda program, you also give uh, items to these girls. What is in, for example, the park, the care park from Mark? 3,000 sets every year of, um, let me tell you, Mm -hmm. Sets containing ruler, pencils, razors, sharpener, a pen, a color pencils, triangle ruler, um, fabric bag, and also uh, notebooks and, yeah. and things. Uh, so this is uh, very important because uh, these items, they cannot afford it most yeah. of the time. So, yeah. so we give it uh, also to, to facilitate, but also the school fees yeah. for the girls I told you about and, and uh, some special attention for these 20 uh, highly performed but underprivileged girls yeah. we select. So, uh, going on to do uh, the things that we do through partnerships, incredible partnerships. And uh, Dr. Rasha Kelej has gone to every country to work with every artist yes. that can <laughs> support the dream. Actually, I was really uh, happy because uh, we went even to Mozambique and Angola. Yeah. And I know that Portuguese speaking countries are sometimes a little bit isolated mm. and not integrated in our prog uh, programs, many programs in Africa, but yeah. I refused to do so. Yeah. So I included Mozambique and Angola as the first in all uh, our programs, plus the French speaking countries and English speaking countries, yeah. of course. And we had 20 songs and uh, two songs of them was specially for girls education. Yeah. Uh, one was a Ghanaian and Liberian singer. We had it uh, in the previous uh, Girls Can. Girls Can. Yes, yes. yes. And the other one was Blaze is a most uh, famous musician uh, and singer in Mozambique uh -huh. has been uh, recommended to me by the first lady of Mozambique and many other uh, stakeholders uh -huh. and he made a, a very nice song in Portuguese uh -huh. which we're going to listen to in a break uh -huh. but after we invite him <laughs> here uh, called Yes You Can. Yes. So let us invite Blaze to talk about the song. Hey Blaze, how you Welcome doing? Welcome from Mozambique. Yes, 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 yes. I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. Thank you. How do we greet in Mozambique in Portuguese? Uh, Bem-vindo. Benvido. 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 Benvido.
on in your mind when creating this song? I've been working with this kind of projects, uh, but mostly to talk about sexual education. But this one was when special. When I told you. Yeah, it was specially different because it's uh, something to, 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 to tell the girls that they must have education. So yeah. oh, this was special. I never did a song uh, uh, talking about that. So when uh, Dr. Russia called me and talked talk, talk, talk to me that I needed to do a song to, 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 to the girls, uh, uh, to give them power, to mm. tell them, yes, you can. Mm. Uh, I was very happy because in Africa, especially in, uh, in uh, I think you know, in all Africa, uh, our rate of education is very, very, very low. Yeah. Especially girls. women and girls, yes. yeah, especially yeah, yeah. women and girls. Uh, first, first of all, because uh, young girls in Africa, uh, unfortunately, uh, get pregnant very early, yeah. and m most of them uh, be become brides very early. Because most of them is because of traditional matters, but uh, but those also a source of income, I think. To yes, the yes, yes, yes. The yeah. source of income to a family is like a trade. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so we need to take this kind of messages to 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 to, to Africa mm. in in general. Mostly it's uh, Portuguese speaking countries cause, because uh, girls are not, are not going to school. They usually drop out of school yeah. very soon because of, of, of a lot. all this. So that's yes. why we related child marriage to girls' education yes, very, yes, very yes. much. So, yeah. yes to girls' education and no to child, to child marriage. marriage yes. That's right. Uh, yes. So, what about if we go now in an info break and uh, we listen to the uh, to song? The song. Yes. But before the song, we will have to have, you know, that we. In our community here in the TV, our Africa, we have always fashion designers from okay. different countries to come up with the designs or the messages that we want to advocate for. Yes. So uh, uh, we want to say music, fashion, and art can contribute they to raise yeah. awareness and sensitize the yes, communities. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So of course you recommended for me a designer from Mozambique yes. as <laughs> yes, well. Yes. Yeah. So today, today is a Mozambique. <laughs> Mozambique. Uh, yes. Mozambique. And also we have designer from Ghana. From Fantastic. Ghana, yeah. So uh, we will see what they are doing in the workshop and mm -hmm. then we go to see uh, the song. All right. uh, but uh, Brian, I want to tell you, confess something. Uh -huh. I also had my designs today. You have designs? Yes, <laughs> yes. I will show you also. <laughs> we shall see. I can't resist. Like, I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kept to, asking, yes, where are the designers from? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have Mozambique, we have Ghana, which is our young designers. Yeah. But I also like very much to have a design by my own to also support girls' education. We will see it in the workshop and you'll tell me guys what you think about it.
also wearing uh, my design Stop Gender Based Violence Stop GBV after finishing and uh, we're here we uh, also designing uh, the uh, Stop Child Marriage messages on the same recycled jeans coat uh, it's been designed by David Boydou uh, from Ghana especially for me and uh, you can see here marriage is not for children Stop Gender Based Violence That was an incredible song, Hot Blaze from yes, Mozambique. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, thank you. Did you like Obrigado. it? Did you like it? I love it. I and think all these other songs. Yeah, all the other songs as well. But yeah. also we have done a lot of songs uh, about uh, breaking the stigma of infertility, raising awareness about girls' education. Mm -hmm. What did you feel, Blaze, when I called you? <laughs> from the other side of the world. Yes. And I told you, I am from Egypt and Merck Foundation is a German uh, foundation and we want to do a song to raise awareness about girls' education in Portuguese for Mozambique and Angola. What did you first, think about it? First of all, when I saw your number on my phone, <laughs> I think it was someone trying to hack my Instagram. Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked you, please send me your page so I can confirm it's yes, real. Yes. I think you remember, but yes, after definitely. we spoke, uh, I got very excited and happy because of the message, girls' yes. education. Mm. Uh, it's, some, it's something I felt like I should do this because yeah. back in my country, I'm yeah. one of the strongest, if not the strongest artist for the youth uh, yes. yeah. from a certain age. So I This had will to influence do, a lot of yeah, people. I influence a lot of people and a lot of... And this was our first song in Portuguese, but mm. you know, all our work we are doing it in French, English, and Portuguese yes. from the beginning of 2012. Yes. Uh, even the storybooks I told you about, Rescue Jacqueline and, uh, and uh, uh, Right to the Future, it is in Portuguese, in French, and in English. Right. And this is the standard of Merck Foundation. We address all Africa. Yes. Yeah all Africa That's so uh, this is great That's so uh, did you like also the workshop actually before you comment we need to invite <laughs> <laughs> yes all right yes so, yes. <laughs> so first of all I want to say um, yes yes strawberries yes. Uh, <laughs> your fashionist. we're gonna we're gonna I did that in the workshop you, yes you've yeah. seen yeah. it so it's now it's ready yeah, yeah. You, yeah you've yeah. seen it uh, you've seen how creating the work yes now <laughs> let's also uh, welcome our friends, this is a pan-African show, all right? Yes. First, from a Glamour magazine in South Africa, she is the editor-in-chief. Please welcome Poso yes. Nontando. Welcome, so, welcome to the thank show. Thank you so much for having you, me. You write a lot about issues like this. Um, just talk to us about the situation, what the situation is like in South Africa, for example. Mm. How, how many girls access education? Yes. Yeah. Thank you for Thank the you. amazing initiative and Thank course you that much. you do. Your work is appreciated. Like I'm a fashion editor, so through fashion I tell different stories. Yeah. And I mean art and fashion, they go hand in hand. Yeah. With both, we used to communicate different issues, social issues that affect us in mm. our communities. Mm. So initiative like this, girls' education, mm. that's quite an important course to mm. tackle. Mm. As you know, you educate girls, you empower a whole generation Absolutely. of young women yeah. to take care of future generations. Right. And that also bridges the gender, the gender yeah, gap. Gen yeah, gender yes. gap and gender equality. Yes. What did you think about the workshop? You've seen the workshop with us at the moment, and yes. the designers are getting their designs ready. Yes. And the beautiful design coming up uh, with a very young uh, look, and at the same time, cultural. Yeah. So, uh, how d let, us, let us comment on this, but initially, yeah. what do you think about the designers? We have one from Mozambique and mm -hmm. one from Ghana. Yeah. Yes. 
I like that through the design and through the artwork, you get to empower not only the designers, but you get to unite us as Africans that are involved yes. in yes. that space. Yes. Mm. So, um, what do you think about uh, my design as well? Like what I, when I was <laughs> yeah, this is very important. <laughs> what I was very important. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a cute design, but with Thank a you. very powerful message, message behind yeah. it. Thank and you. I think that's yeah. that's what fashion is. Through fashion, you tell yeah. powerful stories and. A design like this, that's memorable. Thank and you. And I see the words, I'm a girl, not a bride. Yeah. Yes, I'm yeah. a girl, not a bride. Educate, educate me and I'll change the world. Yeah. yeah. And marriage not for children. Because child marriage, as we said, is the main uh, cause of stopping or blocking education. Yeah. That it's, is it's all true. like goes hand in hand. Stop, you stop child marriage, you, you support education. Yeah. yeah. So let us call the, the designers. All yes. right, the designers, Alberto first from <laughs> Mozambique. Tell us about the design. Uh, for me, the girls um, was born this way. They was yes. born as a, as a queen. So I chose this design so that I can um, spread the message that they were, were born with power mm -hmm. and should spread their power to, to the whole universe. Fantastic. Uh, and it's a comfortable design with the comfortable materials. Amazing. Uh, and yes, to yes. good education. <laughs> and here, uh, in Portuguese, what is This is say? Portuguese. Say, say? Si a educação da rapariga. It's the same in English. Si a educação da rapariga. Si a educação da rapariga. Da rapariga. Yes. Da rapariga. We have to learn right? Portuguese. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So write that on, on the screen here so yes. people can learn. Yes, yes. yes to good <laughs> education. Si de... See, a uh, educação da rapariga. rapariga. Yes, oh. fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. I love the jacket. It's like a superhero jacket, yes, right? Yes, yes. And yes, it's also yes. like she is wearing a clutch as well at the same yes, time. Yes, so yes, it's really yes. lovely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the statement. I want you to uh, uh, call for all the designers in Mozambique and yes. Angola in Portuguese yes. to tell them that if they have any design that can raise awareness, they can contact us on the social media on the screen here. Okay, hmm. uh, para todos os uh, Moçambicanos, africanos, uh, angolanos, por favor, podem entrar em contato com este, com este número aqui no Rodapé. Merck Foundation. Uh, que, que é da Merck Foundation. Facebook. Tem o, o Facebook, tem o Instagram. Twitter. E, e o Twitter. E vocês <laughs> podem... <laughs> YouTube. Russia, yeah. YouTube, too, né? YouTube. There's YouTube. There's YouTube. Uh, ah, yes. Que é para poderem expor aqui os vossos trabalhos. É uma grande oportunidade de poder expandir aquilo que é o vosso talento na área de fashion design e, e na área de artes. Muito obrigado. Obrigado. Ah, yes. Yes. obrigado. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for thank the design. Yes. Let's now welcome our second designer of the day from Ghana, Anuja. And she's not only the second designer, she is also the winner of Merck Foundation Fashion Award for 2020. Wow. wow. Breaking the stigma wow. of infertility. Nice. Yes. So Thank she works at really nice designs for Breaking the Stigma of Infertility, which we are going to show in another episode. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But this, today you worked on Yes to Girls Education, and can we see the model? Uh, so this, this is, is a like, cultural uh, outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is culture, but uh, like uh, this is a very strong message, and uh, we want to reach yeah. it to the mass. So, like it was a requirement to keep it the casual. <laughs> and my this whole outfit, it's like each and every piece can worn individually. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you look at the shirt, the behind. Do you have something? Wow. So this is see? a very strong, they, loud they message. Girls, not guys. Yeah. 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 Hey, like, it's just a shout out that yeah. we want that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's on the black color. Black color here yeah. represents like two, three things. One is the oh, stigma behind perfect. all those things. Yeah. I think this is a, a very powerful fashion with a purpose statement. And it's men that needs to drive these conversations as well. Yes. yes. That's when... Yeah. Linen it's amazing. Of course, that's amazing. We want this gu to these guys to wear something like this next <laughs> yeah. time. Sure. I, want, yeah. I, want, I want this yeah. pants. Yes, the pants. you want it? So, I'll take yes. them today. So oh. let us uh, call yes, the yes, rest of, of the... All right. Design. And we're definitely going to sing Blaze's song. Yes. And yeah. uh, the verse and everything. Yeah. So, all right, welcome <laughs> to the party. We see all your comments on our socials and you're telling us to keep bringing more songs, keep bringing more artists. And if you are an artist and you also have a fantastic idea how we can partner in the countries where we are, please talk to us. Our socials, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, uh, Instagram, go there. 
Uh, Brian, also I received a request and, and a question about what are the scholarships we are providing yeah. for doctors uh -huh. uh, and the scholarship for girls uh, in, in, in schools. Of course, all this information, you can find it on our social yeah. media. The scholarship in all under uh, served and critical speciality that needed in Africa. It's one year diploma, two year master course for all African doctors to apply. Yeah. All right, Blaze, take us out with your song. Let's go yes. for the chorus. She was a teen like every girl. Young, strong, and beautiful, but gave birth at an early age. Married to the man that she did not love. Held back by the culture, set back by the system that wouldn't train her, educate her, restrict her. Hey, say no to the violence, gender discrimination. Cause girls, they can do anything, they can go anywhere, they can be anything that they choose. Hello Africa, hello the world, welcome once again Senator Russia Kelly. Topic of our show today, mm -hmm. we want to support girls education. So let us invite please, commended to me by the First Lady. Uh, to give them power, to tell them, yes you can. Thank you for the amazing initiative through fashion I tell different stories. Yeah. Educate a girl and she will change the world. 